Well, it's a sunny day. I feel brand new. There's about a million things that I could do. Whoa, would you like to do them too? Yeah. Well, it's a big wide world and it's waiting for me and you. Let's look around. What will we see? Round every corner of discovery. Whoa, there's no place I When Chirp found a sparkly rock just by accident, she thought, This must be my lucky day! <laughs> and when Quack spotted what looked like a golden worm, he thought, Look at that! It's my lucky day! Unfortunately, Quack and Chirp were wrong. Oh, so very, very wrong. <laughs> I think I'll tie this up and give it to Pete. <laughs> well, it's my lucky day. I'll find something that works. Come on! <laughs> Hi, Quack. Hi, Chirp. <clears throat> hey, this is just what I was looking for. It really is my lucky day. Oh, no, 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 no. This is my worm, and it's my lucky day. It's not a worm, it's a string. And besides, can't we both have a lucky day? <laughs> Hi, guys. Do you need some help? With Pete's assistance, Quack and Chirp finally got themselves free. Well, almost free. Stand back, Chirp! I'll bite it off! Okay, okay, enough! Stop! It isn't working! Oh, great! Duck spit! Try stomping on it. Maybe it'll break. Okay, we'll just have to pull it apart. I'll go this way, Quack, and you go that way. Right. Got it. I think you're stuck together for good. Wh what do you mean for good? He means you'll have to go with me everywhere. Get the point, Jack? What? My hat goes with me everywhere, and it never complains. You can be just like my hat! I have a better idea. How about you follow me? Beep! Beep! Over here! 
You're being very unreasonable, don't you think? I mean, I do. I mean, a duck following a bird. Ridiculous. <laughs> the very... Anyway, time for a swim. Bye. Wait a minute. You're not going anywhere with a... Ah! Peep and Chirp finally convinced Quack to take turns. For the first half of the day, Chirp agreed to follow Quack. Hey, fish! You'll never guess what happened to me! Kind of funny, actually. Ta-da! For the second half of the day, Quack agreed to follow Chirp. 35 ducks in the lake, oh, 35 ducks in the lake. Who one flies up and so that makes, um, 34 ducks in the lake. Hey, Quack, oh, 34 ducks in the lake. 34 ducks in the this lake. This was my lucky quack. day, all right. Quack. What am I doing with my quacking? 34 ducks in the lake, Quack. <laughs> Chirp and Quack spent the night together about as well as they spent the day together. <laughs> Whoa! the worst night of my life. You snow, you know. How do you think I feel? Uh, quick question. Do you usually fall on top of other birds when they're trying to sleep? Is this a habitual thing? Quack. For your information, I fell because you pulled the owl! Why'd you do that? Do what? You're the one that hit me! Even though the sharp rock had finally cut their elastic, Quack and Chirp were too busy to notice. They ate lunch together. They watched blossoms fall. And just before bed, they counted stars. Three! That's number three! Wow! Three! <laughs> That's more than... Um... Two! <laughs> oh. You know, this hasn't been as bad as I thought. Hey, you're right. I thought spending a whole day with you would make my feet itch. But they're fine. Well, good night, Quack. Yep, yep, okay. Yep, see you in the morning. Quack, we're free! Hey, we have to go tell Pete. Pete, hey Pete, Quack and I don't have to spend every moment together anymore. Yeah, isn't that... Quack, great. Did your can shrink, Pete? I, I don't seem to fit. In fact... <laughs> I can't move at all. Tomorrow probably won't be a lucky day for any of them, but that's just a guess. Oh, well. Anything to eat? Isabel, Sylvie, and I are playing with cars. We're trying to figure out how to use a rubber band to launch the cars. I know we could do it, except it might not work. Look apartment. We pushed it into the rubber band and then let go. Sylvie is tying the two rubber bands together. This is a longer rubber band now. It doesn't roll, it flips. Now we're trying a different car. Oh, that one much better! This one's bigger and it has bigger wheels. I am stretching the rubber band just a little bit. And the car goes very slow and not that far. Now pull it tight. When on how gets the rubber band tighter, the car goes much farther, and it goes faster. Isabel is carefully attaching a really big rubber band to a chair. <laughs> if I pull it back a little bit, it doesn't go so fast. And if I pull it back a lot, it goes really fast. Try launching toy cars with rubber bands. 